Hey guys, welcome to the Total Miscellaneous Assets for January 2018. And like I did with the models video, it's just going to be a reel off of a quick list of all the different assets that I found for this month. And there's a whole selection of great, great stuff, so you should check it all out. And number one is the Draw Physics Shapes 2D, and it's a tutorial project which actually allows you to give you an example of how to draw shapes with a cursor similar to Incredibots or something along that, um, along that style. It allows you to click in the scene and just start drawing. So this might be one if you are trying to learn how to do specific functionality, there might be some good code in there for you to be able to draw on the screen and you know just create some complex gameplay mechanics out of that. And number two is the Anim Pro Pack Demo and it's a series of professional uh, mo-capped um, pieces of animation for fighting movements and animations suitable for a game whether it's pl action, platformer, hack and slash, anything like that. It includes 10 anim animations which include an idle, kick, punch, taunt, dash, crouch, air attack and walking and it also includes one skin model and mesh and all animations at FBX format uh, for 60 FPS. So this might be a nice one if you're looking to get into adding a few different animations to your character. And the third one is the curved space shader, and it's a simple shader that allows you. I don't know really know the correct from the correct terminology behind this, but it lets you put game objects in a specific space with a constant and positive curvature, and allows you to manipulate them with four dimensional rotations so if that sounds like it'd be something for you it might be worth checking out and you can check out the puzzle game that was created with the use of this shader so maybe that'll give you some ideas of how it could be used and the next one is the 2d breakout example project and this is an asset for learning purposes and you can have and learn how to do the sort of 2D brick break game. You know, you move your little paddle around and you hit the ball and it will eventually break these objects and then you get a score and win at the end. And the next one is an asset called Gradient Sky and it's a simple customizable Gradient Sky useful for a platformer type games and it's procedurally generated so there's no need for textures and it's got fast performance on the GPU and so it's created with a procedural mesh and you can configure the gradient in the inspector and you can see the example here so you can fully adjust the gradient as you go along and the next one is realistic glitches light and this package is a collection of post-processing shaders and um, imitating sort of the glitchy effect or those occurrences where you see you know you might get that fizzling on your screen it comes with a bunch of actual sort of camera effects which include a scanner, um, a tint, colour bleeding, corrupted VRAM, unsync and CRT. So it comes with a whole host of sort of different ideas, glitches, things like that that might be suitable for you. And the next one is Sunnyland Forest and I think I probably featured a couple of these from this actual um, developer and it's a complete pixel art package for a platformer game. It includes um, two layers with a parallax background, a tile set of 16 by 16 and seven different prop items to decorate your scene, seven different animations for the main character and three different animated enemies. And the next one is the tower defense template from Unity. It's a template for the Unity's tower defense game template and it provides a simple but polished example of how to create a tower defense game. The template serves as two purposes purposes is to provide an example but a solid base which you can build on and make a more complex tower defense game if you choose to do so and it's got a full written manual which you can learn how it was made I'm following the link available and the next one is something called the jelly shader and it's a simple shader and a C sharp script that you can turn any 3d model into a, wall, a wobbly jelly like substance so it's highly customizable with sliders where you can adjust the frequency amplitude the um, distortion the speed the wave speed but that's a pretty cool little shader if you choose to want to make some sort of jelly could be wobbly jelly on a plate that might be a really cool thing to create so this shader might be for you and the last one last but not least is the space shooter free and this is of a more full version and it's just a free version of the space shooter pack which includes the graphics c sharp the scripts player controllers demo scene and documentation this includes one player ship and weapon customizable and in movement um, suitable and optimized for mobile four planet backgrounds a parallax nebulizer and star background with one enemy and one weapon system weapon upgrades and it's fully documented with all the visual effects and animations that you'll see. So again, sorry I had to do this in slightly a different style because this is using the um, updated version of the Unity Store which I don't really like as much for visually presenting it because it sort of does pop out and it's 
which is not as easy to navigate. I'll try and uh, so I will leave a link in the description for all the great miscellaneous assets and all the other assets that you can find for this month of January. It's an absolute fantastic month for what people have been giving away. So be sure to check all these out and give the developers a thumbs up for everything that they do. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.